Welcome to the Researcher YouTube channel. My name is Jorge and in this video I will introduce you to the operator SUM in Modelica. For this matter I will use Euler solution to the Basel problem. Euler solution was first published in 1735. Euler's result was very important in the definition of the Euler-Riemann set of action. I won't cover here how Euler did it, but I will leave some of my favorite videos in the description if you want to check how to obtain this solution. Now we will use the sum operator to try to perform this sum. Start by creating a new Modelica class. We will define a parameter with Euler's result. We will use the Modelica constants pi to define Euler's solution to the problem. We will define a variable here called zeta and the variable zeta will be the sum of the different terms that we will store in an array. We can simulate now to compare how far we are from Euler's result. We can see that the difference is still quite big. I will add now a couple of extra terms. Our result is still very far away from Euler's result. One of the problems they had back in the day with the zeta function of 2 is that the solution converges very slowly. So, since we will need a lot of terms to get close to the actual solution, allow me to define the sum in a different way. We will use the operator sum again, and we will sum these different terms that we will obtain using a for loop. Since we want to use integer values, I will use a little trick here using the integer operator and the variable time. We check that everything is correct and now we will change the simulation setup. Since we want to start at time 1 to obtain the first integer and instead of ending at 4 we will have 10 terms. Press OK and simulate. Here you can see how with the different time steps the integer operator rounds down the value and we obtain the different values of the basal problem. It looks like we still don't have enough terms to obtain the first correct decimal. So, let's change the stop time instead of 10 seconds, 100 seconds, and press OK. We can see how the variable zeta is getting closer to our asymptotic value. However, with 100 terms, we only got the first decimal correct. Let's try with more terms, for instance, 10,000. As you can see, with 10,000 values, we only get the first three decimals correct, showing how amazing it was what Euler managed to do. I will try to start a new series of videos for developing a library related to number theory. So stay tuned and see you in future videos. Thank you so much for watching.